Hi guys, I'm one of the surgeons at South Paws, my name is Charles Kuntz. I'm doing a quick article review today on a paper that just came out in the Journal of Veterinary Surgery. And for YouTube members, uh, for our, uh, our special membership, I'm including an article or a copy of the article in the Dropbox. Um, and so I thought I would go over this interesting study. So what they did in this study, the title is Intraoperative Surgeon Probe Inspection Compared to Leak Testing for detecting gaps in uh, canine jejunal continuous anastomosis, a cadaveric, cadaveric study. And what they did was they had a, ver a variety of different people create intestinal anastomoses in cadaver specimen, specimens. And they had um, people of varying experience ranging all the way from uh, surgical residents down to uh, even a vet student to do the anastomosis. And the reason why they did that was that they intentionally wanted to have uh, some gaps in the suture line um, where you might have leakage. And so what they did was they compared um, probing of the anastomoses using a hemostat um, like this, uh, as opposed to um, leak testing where you inflate with flu. Basically 80% of them, um, if you look right there, 80% of them had uh, a probe drop, which means that they were able to pop the hemostat in between the suture line. And that was 100% sensitive, 100% specific for the detection of leakage. So what they did was they did this probe drop and then they went and leak tested in conventional fashion and showed that the area where you had a probe drop um, was significantly associated with um, demonstration of leakage. And so basically what this did, in my, my opinion, is that you can basically make anything leak um, with enough pressure. And so the probe drop was probably more sensitive and more specific uh, for uh, predict than, um, than the water testing. And uh, noted, note that this was not a live animal study. And so they don't know whether these went on to leak or would have gone on to leak physiologically, but at least on the um, on the lab desk, they were able to show that um, that the probing was more sensitive and specific for uh, for testing leakage of an anastomosis than um, than water leak testing, and that goes along with what I've recommended. Um, so this uh, is just a quick review of an article in the uh, Journal of Veterinary Surgery, which is the most prestigious uh, veterinary journal for uh, veterinary surgery. Um, of any of the um, uh, of the journals out there, and uh, it goes again on to support the idea that uh, water leak testing is probably not as uh, as uh, reasonable uh, a procedure as is visual inspection and then probing. Um, a copy of the article is uh, in the Dropbox for uh, member YouTube members, and I'll put the link in uh, uh, to that in the uh, communication. So thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you again soon.